What's going on everybody? Gunner here. Uh, I am in Mexico with Nomadic Waters fishing at the Angler's Inn Lodge and that right there is sunrise on Lake Picachos. All right guys, Gunner here. So I wanna kind of just debunk this whole uh, kind of grain weight, sink weight issue that it really uh, kind of plagues the streamer industry where people think, you know, you tell somebody, oh, well, I, I fish a 300 grade full sinking line and they're like flabbergasted because that must get down so fast. And what I didn't tell you is it was an intermediate sinking line. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? 300 grains. Grains is just a unit of mass. It's just like pounds or ounces or grams, right? It's just telling you how heavy it is. And what you have to understand about rods, fly, or conventional, they need weight to load. You have to displace the rod against weight to store kinetic energy that is then transferred into the fly line. If the fly line didn't have weight to it, you couldn't cast. Do you understand? Or else you'd, you'd have to weight the lure and then you'd be conventional fishing. So it's like, what you have to understand is, your fly rod, let's say a six weight, in the streamer industry about a 30 foot head, 30 foot condensed head for a six weight is gonna be about 200 grains. That's kind of the gold standard. As you go up, seven weight's 250. As you go up, an eight weight is 300. As you go up, a nine weight is 350. 10 weight's 400. And that's plus or minus 25, depending on the line style or the total head length or the application that it's destined for. So those aren't absolutes, but they're, they're ballpark numbers that are very, uh, kind of standard across how a fly line is designed and what it's designed to be loaded with. So a 200 grain floating line is the same mass as a 200 grain full sinking line. They both weigh 200 grains because that's what you need to load and displace your six weight against for proper loading and maximal performance. So what you have to understand is when you get into sink rates, the, the line companies, they take basically a tungsten powder and they mix it in with the, the coating, the fly line coatings, and it increases the specific gravity of the fly line coating relative to water so that it literally sinks at a specific rate. So please do not, uh, under, please do not be confused about grains versus sink rate because they are not the same thing. I can fish a 400 grain full sinking line that could sink at one inch per second or it could sink six inches per second. It has to do with the tungsten ratio because tungsten is denser than water and how that's impregnated into the plastic that's going to control how fast it sinks. You can also get heads that as the head goes out towards the fly, you have an intermediate, a sink three and a sink six measured off in 10 foot sections so that the fly line dips completely linear and retrieves and so instead of a big belly. So it's like, it's nothing is absolute. I hope that clarifies something that is a huge misconception, especially transferring some from being maybe a cold water dry fly nymph angler to someone who's a warm water streamer angler and you get into, oh, I need to buy a sinking line, but, but it's 300 grains and I don't want to sink too fast and I don't want to get hung up on the bottom. Hope to clear that up. So that's what we're talking about. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you pick out your, your next fly line and not be scared of something that's a high grain weight. Pick it out relative to your rod. If you look in the description of this video, I'll have a list basically going from six weight up to 12 weight as far as grains are concerned. Especially understand six weights like 200 and everything just goes up in 50 grain increments. That's what you're looking for. Almost every streamer line on the market is going to be marketed with the grain ratings on the line. You want to look at that for the first 30 feet of that head. Most streamer lines should be 30 feet just about anyway. And that's going to get you a ballpark line that will perform well on a high performance graphite fly rod. Hope that helps you out and I'll see you in the next one.
that back in this spot again if you want. Oh, I want it. <laughs> That's what I figured. So many fish in there. Like oh, there? Oh. 